Hey guys, Dr. Huntington here. And in this video, I'm gonna point out some of the differences between farm-raised fish and wild-caught fish and how eating one or the other affects your health. Now you want to include fish in your diet because they're a great source of protein and healthy fat and vitamins and minerals. Eating fish is healthy for your heart and your brain and your whole body in general, but not all fish are created equal. And what makes the difference is their life before they make it to your plate. And that's what determines the impact the fish will have on your health. This is such a significant factor that, re that retailers in the U.S. who sell unprocessed, fresh or frozen fish are required to include on their label things like where it came from uh, and also you know, if it's wild caught or farm raised. All right, so what's the difference, right? Farm raised fish are grown in pens or nets that have been submerged in salt water or ponds or lakes, or sometimes in large tanks on land. Whereas wild caught fish are harvested from their natural environment, like out of the ocean or a river or a lake. And some fish can actually be both if they're caught when they're young and then taken from the wild and then transferred to a fish farm where they're fattened up. But in, but in a case like this, a U.S. retailer should be indicating that the fish was farm-raised. You know, just don't get confused if the packaging actually says both farm-raised and some other statement like born or caught in the wild. But from your perspective, if it's been on the farm, you should avoid it completely. Okay, so let's look at farm-raised. One of the reasons to eat fish is to consume healthy omega-3 fats. And if you trace the development of omega-3 fats back in the food chain, it starts with algae. And fish accumulate these good omega-3 fats by eating the smaller fish that feed on the algae. But farm-raised fish don't live in their natural environment, and so there's no food chain. Instead, the fish are directly fed in algae-fortified grain feed or fish meal. And this fattens them up quickly, and in some cases, they may even have more omega-3 fats than a wild-caught fish, but it hardly can be considered healthy because the grain-fed diet is completely unnatural for a fish. I mean, grains contain omega-6 fats that fuel inflammation in your body. And if you eat an animal that is raised on omega-6 fats from grain feed, you'll be consuming the inflammatory producing omega-6 fats when you eat as well and with the potentially dire health consequences that an inflamed body brings. Now, aside from the harmful omega-6 fats, fish meal also contains contaminants called PCBs, and PCBs are cancer-causing chemicals. Researchers have found significantly higher concentrations of PCBs in farm-raised fish. And this is a serious problem because PCBs disrupt your endocrine system, and that means hormone problems. And some studies have even shown a link to autism. Now, PCBs in fish meal are loosely regulated by the FDA, and so some fish farmers are switching to a genetically modified soy-based feed, which is also a problem, because you don't want to eat soy. You don't want to have it in your diet. And this is because soy contains phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are also some, sometimes called xenoestrogens, and these substances mimic estrogen and can disrupt your hormone balance. Farm-raised fish also have higher rates of disease from living in crowded tanks. While the U.S. doesn't allow the use of antibiotics or uh, growth hormones in farm-raised fish, most other countries don't have that restriction. So when you eat fish raised on farms outside the U.S., you're, you're risking the chance that you're also eating antibiotics and growth hormones. Okay. So you can see the disaster in eating farm-raised fish. So let's compare that to wild-caught. Fish in their natural environment eat what is available to them. And this helps ensure that they have healthy omega-3 fats without the omega-6 fats from the fish meal. They also contain significantly less, if any, carcinogens, uh, contaminants, antibiotics, and food coloring. And while it's true that some wild-caught fish unfortunately test positive for antibiotics due to their close proximity, to fish that are being farm raised, it's, it's, not, you know, it's not common. And it's not likely to be anywhere near as problematic as the fish that are on the farm. Uh, wild caught fish does usually cost more than farm raised fish because there's a lot more work that's involved in sourcing it. But the health benefits of eating wild caught far outweigh the extra cost. 
Now, about 80% of the fish for sale in the U.S. is imported, and half of what is imported is farm-raised. Uh, overall, more than half of the fish for sale in the U.S. are farm-raised. And in the next 10 years, that number is projected to grow to two-thirds. Okay, so here's a recap. You want to consume wild-caught fish. You want to avoid eating farm-raised fish, as at least inflammation. And inflammation is the root of just about every chronic disease. Now, when ordering at a restaurant, don't be shy about asking where the fish comes from and pay attention to the answer that your server gives you. Often the servers aren't really sure and sometimes they're just too lazy to check with the chef. So you gotta make sure you get the answer, the right answer from them, even if they have to go back and check with the chef. All right, so you've probably realized that you need to be a bit of an expert here about food if you're gonna be healthy, but it's worth the time and effort to learn considering that you eat several times per day and that your life depends on it. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with others. I'll see you in the next one.